Hey, what a beautiful morning. Scout and I have been quarantined for a little while now. So we're just trying to do some of the things that we find normal, such as camping and climbing and all that good stuff. So uh, we're hoping to have a good day of climbing. We're gonna try for the summit of Ginger Cove and uh, go from there. Scout's in here with me. I don't know if you can see him. He's right here, but uh, we're ready to climb. Good thing I've got my harness on and my boots on already. We're gonna make this happen. There's something scary. Scout doesn't like him either. Looks like we've had a sighting of Joe Exotic and a tiger. We better get this show on the road. This place isn't safe anymore. All right, guys. I climbed the first portion. It was epic. Probably one of the most fun climbs I've done thus far. And you got to check out these views. They're amazing. I mean, like nothing I've ever seen before. Really doesn't compare to anything. I just got to show you. And then we gotta let Scout climb up too, okay? All right. I mean, look, there's our, there's our tent down there. Look how high I am. I mean, this is awesome. Look at the views. You can see the lawn. You can see some of the mountains out there. Look at the ceiling fan. I am at the same height as the ceiling fan. It's epic. And there's Scout. Scout, bud. Hey, you ready to climb up here? You ready to do this thing? You're roped in. All right, buddy, you just gotta climb up here and join me. All right, Scout, you got me down there? Hey, glad to see you on this climb of the, part of the climb. This has gotta be a 512 pitch or so. It's kinda at the, the upper extreme of my skills capacity, but I um, feel like I trained hard for it. Really loved it so far, and so we're gonna keep going. Uh, really trust Scout, Scout to, to keep me on belay down there. So. Uh, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna see if I can hang on. All right, here we go. Scout, 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 scout! Oh, hey guys. We're on the, the crux of the climb. What that means, it's the toughest part of the climb. And it, it, for us, it's the final pitch. Scout, where are you going? You can't walk away when you're belaying me. Buddy, we're in this together. We're almost to the summit. Don't turn back now. We gotta make decisions together. We're gonna do this. You can see this is pretty treacherous, so I can understand why Scout might wanna turn back. It's kinda harder than the Matterhorn, I'd have to say. But we're this far into it. We got great weather, conditions are solid. I say we go for it. Okay. Scout man, you're almost to the summit. I'm so glad you didn't turn back. Thanks for coming with me, bud. Let's go, come on. On the summit. Of Ginger Cove Point. Scout's real excited to be up here. Don't worry, we're roped together. You can see there's nothing around us. Lots of exposure. But it's a beautiful day. We're glad that we did it. Alright, I've got Scout's backpack here. This is the first time I put him in charge of bringing all the gear. Setting the route and doing all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how well he did. You can see it's quite full. I'm excited to see what's inside. All right, Scout, let's see how good you did, bud. This is interesting. He brought a whole bowl of carnitas. Can't believe he carried that the whole way. Let's see what else is inside. Oh, jackpot, you sly dog. He brought an alcoholic beverage. You're always trying to protect a scout man. Scout man brought a sword. You never know what you're gonna run into out here. So you wanna make sure you got something to make fire with or to protect yourself with. Good thinking, scout. All right, there's one more thing in here. It's kinda big. Might have a little trouble getting this out. Oh, scout, wow. Jeez, bud. How, how did you fit this in there? He never ceases to amaze me. Good job, Scout. Alright, is, is this good right here? 
This is good. This is this bouncy. I like this. Should hat on, off, on, off, on, on. That look that looks cooler. Okay, okay. We want to be cool. Yeah, we want to be cool. Okay, all right. What's your first question? I can do that cooler. I can, I can sound cooler. Hi. What's your first question? You can cut out the first part, right? Was that good? You can't cut it out? What kind of video editing system do you have? This is ridiculous. Okay, anyway. Why did we want to do this documentary? Well, it was all Scout's idea. He wanted people to know what we were doing um, during the quarantine. He wanted to show all the other dogs and people what kind of adventurous life he lives, even in the midst of social distancing. Hmm, that's a good question. What celebrities do we feel most like? Well, Scout's gonna tell you he feels like Balto. That's a real heroic dog, and Scout likes to count himself as a hero. In my opinion, though, he's probably more like the supporting dog on Puppy Dog Pals. Real sweet, real cute. Not a lot of grit. You're so cute, bud. For me, um, I would say Percy from Pocahontas. Oh, you don't mean dog celebrity for me? You mean, okay, you mean human? Okay. Some people have told me that I'm like Dwight Schrute. Yeah, maybe that's because a lot of my gardening advice hinges on things like predator urine, and I know about things like paradoxical undressing. So some people think I'm kind of odd, like him. Or smart, like him. Was Scout on board with the documentary? He was. It was actually his idea, like I said. And, you know, he packed the bag, he put everything in it, he got us all prepped. I really trust him with those kind of things. Um, and he planned the route, and so he, I think he did a good job. What was that? Can you see it? Why? Why am I letting a dog make all of the decisions? Who are you calling a dog? I find that that's really offensive for both me and Scout. This interview's over.